Hi guys, welcome to this month's Stock Investment Monthly Review. Today I'm going to be going over my different, my investment portfolios, its return, um, and my reasons for buying a new position. So let's get started. The return in August of my investment portfolio, number one, um, using the long-term investment strategy was 2.82%. In August, I further reduced position sizes in stocks such as NVIDIA, Amazon, etc. And I initiated a new long-term position in MSCI with a 2% capital allocation, as well as a short-term position in RSP with 14% net capital. Later on in this video, I will talk about my reasons for buying RSP. And in the next video, I will talk more in detail about the position MSCI. The usual date of this account since the beginning of this year was 37.2%. So its return since June 2023 was also 62.3%. So here's a table um, or comparison of the monthly returns of my investment accounts, SPY and QQQ. You can see the year to date since this year is around two times as much as the year to date of SPY or QQQ. So now let's move on to talk about RSP or the S&P 500 Equal Weight ETF. This exchange traded fund is based on the S&P 500 index, but with a unique twist. Instead of being market cap weighted like most S&P 500 ETFs, where the companies or stocks with higher market caps takes up more capital in the portfolio, RSP is equally weighted. This means that each of the 500 companies in the index has the same weight in RSP, regardless of its size or market capitalization. You can see from this picture um, the or this bar graph, the S&P 500 is in blue and the S&P 500 Equal Weight Index, or RSP, is in orange. You can see the RSP has um, very equal or balanced um, capital. As each, as each stock or position takes up the same weight or capital. So some key features of RSP is that number one, it gives equal weighting. Each company and the S&P 500 is equally represented in the ETF. So this gives smaller companies a larger influence on the fund's performance compared to a market cap weighted index. This ETF also gives larger diversification. By equally weighting all companies, RSP can reduce the concentration risk associated with larger companies, which can dominate market cap weighted indices. And performance, um, historically equal weighted in the indices like RSP have shown the potential for outperformance of market capitalization weighted indices such as SPY during certain market conditions, especially when smaller and mid-sized companies perform well. Mm. So my personal investment reasons for buying RSP um, was because of diversification. So my current investment portfolio is highly concentrated in about 10 large cap companies, um, particularly in the technology sector, such as NVIDIA, Google, Amazon, um, et cetera. 
Investing in RSP can help reduce this concentration risk by diversifying my exposure across a broader range of companies, thereby avoiding the risks associated with being overly invested in the technology sector. So in this um, picture, you can see this shows the contributions of NVIDIA or the other Magnificent 7 stocks in the S&P 500, as well as the other 493 stocks in the S&P 500. Um, this shows the, EP, the contribution of the S&P 500 total EPS growth. Mm. You can see that in the third quarter in 2023, um, NVIDIA as well as the other Magnificent 7 or the seven like top stocks in the S&P 500 um, took up a very, very large portion of the S&P 500's EPS growth. But as um, time goes on recently, um, the, the rest of the stocks in the S&P 500 have grown to contribute much, much more to the to S and P five hundreds um growth, as you can see in this yellow portion of the graph. So this shows that um the market, the market's growth um is becoming. Is focusing much more on smaller um, companies than on the larger companies in S and P five hundred. Therefore, um, I decided to buy um, shares of RSP for this reason for diversification. I also hope there will be a tailwind from rates cut from rate cuts. Um, the Federal Reserve has announced a rate cut in September, which will benefit smaller companies much more significantly. This could also advantage sectors beyond technology, um, including in the industries, financials, real estate, and utilities, which are typically more sensitive to interest rate changes. From this um, pie chart here, you can see the sector allocations or the, the percentages of allocations for each sector. So overall, this concludes my reasons on buying RSP. Um, for the reasons on investing MSCI, uh, please watch the videos of the Hope Ration Fund monthly meeting in September 2024. Mm, there I will explain more in detail about, um, about why I bought positions in MSCI. So this concludes the Stock Investment Monthly Portfolio uh, Review for this month. Again, don't hesitate to like and subscribe if you enjoy these updates or if you've learned a lot of things from these videos. And thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Bye!